Ladies and gentlemen, if you think I'd be so foolish as to avoid showing you what was inside of this oscillating chest, well then, you'd be wrong because I just like leaving you in the utmost suspense in between episodes because obviously, ah, this kind of uh, merits that sort of suspense. So there you have it, it's a recovering mushroom. Welcome back to Super Mario RPG where, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to take on the greatest, most feared anthropophobic Anthropo how the hell do you pronounce that? Shark in all the seven seas, and he was by the name Jonathan Jones, the most piratesque name that you could ever think of. So, let's do it. Oh, so excited. There he is, sipping his red wine underwater. So you're the Mario, huh? No much to look at. The star fell into my sea, so it's mine! If you want it, you'll have to fight for it. Wow. Thank you for having this conversation all by yourself. Ah, here we have Jonathan Jones with all of his piercing pirate minions here. They come in the form of blue bandanas because rank is obviously emphasized by the color of their bandana. Um, so this is going to be one of those fights where I'm going to try and super jump my way out of it. Like I explained a couple parts ago, things are probably not going to go in my favor, considering the differences of, you know, lag and inputs, and it's not a very good business. So I'm going to try and super jump Johnny, as long as we can get maybe 20, <laughs> we might be good. Let's try it. So, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Damn it! I hate that so much. Ah, oh, and also, I hope I'm. Oh god, damn it! So unfortunately, I lost my lucky jewel in the last part simply because uh, I'm incompetent and didn't realize that that was going to be its last use. Because yes, you can't just keep on using it. It's going to be one of those items that you will lose if you use it too much. So anyway, Ooh. so we're gonna have to destroy one of these guys. Physically. Now you want to make sure to keep at least one of these minions alive at all times Lest you want to go on a one-on-one -on -one fight with Jonathan Jones, which I might admit is actually badass as hell And I kind of just want to try it just because I won't get the super jump thing and lucky. Yes. Thank you You have like literally a 75% chance of getting a lucky there every single time. So just keep that in mind <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, one, two, three. God damn it, it's always on that 13. Anyway, after you get half of his health down, he'll use Get Tough, which will actually increase his defense um, pretty significantly. So, that's not very good. Anyway, be careful. Ooh, nice one, Peach. Good job. Don't pierce my Peach. Ooh, there we go. The timing on these guys' moves are really weird, too. <laughs> very inconsistent, if I do say so myself. Here, I'll get rid of one of these guys and apparently missed the timing completely and get another lucky in the process. Mario, you can just attack Johnny normally. We don't need to do... The thing is, you get a really good item if you are able to... Um, if you're able to do more than 30 super jumps in a row. If you do 100 in a row, that's when you get the best one and I'll be shooting for that off screen since I did already get more than 30 jumps off screen before, so... Uh, we'll show that when the time comes. Um, Peach learned to come back, by the way. It's basically a pick-me-up in the form of a special ability, so that's actually really good. And I like it a lot. So we'll heal up and... God. And probably kill this last asshole too. Just just for <laughs> shits and giggles. So, ooh. And because of... Oh, actually, I think we wait until his next turn. Yeah, so we can still get another round of shots off on him. Maybe kill him. Maybe not kill him. Hopefully not kill him. That'd be nice. Ugh. Like, don't be such a mean pirate. <laughs> not bad, fellas. Uh oh How about it, Mario? Mario versus me. Wanna mix it up? Oh god. Mario's like, hell yeah, I'm gonna be a cocky as shit. <laughs> good fun. And good for you, too. Alright. Here comes my backup. So yes, <laughs> this is awesome. And I kind of really like how we're all like chanted. It's like, go Mario! Here, I'm secretly boosting you from the side. Uh, we can try another super jump. I don't think that's gonna help. Actually... Yeah, we probably should, considering how much defense he has. So, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. God 
damn it. It's always there and he's dead anyways. So at, in between 18 and 13, those are going to be your trouble spots, but after that, it will just be consistently difficult the entire time. And we can double our coins. Sure, I guess. We'll need 500 here pretty shortly. And I doubt it's going to be it. It's a tie. All right. Cool. I almost said right, but then I was like, eh, that would be dumb. All right, and with that, Mario levels up to 15. Excellent. And with this, we get ourselves the addition of, uh, I guess it would be that. Let's go with attack power, please. And Bowser as well. Very nice. They, they're lovely. Does he get health? He might get health. Do you notice how stunted his, his, his growth is here in this department? <laughs> Leveling up does him no good. Hmm. I'm impressed, Amity. You've earned this star. Think of it as a souvenir of our fight. I will. Thank you so much. Wow. What an honorable pirate. God. <laughs> and of course, he would have the blue star piece. <sighs> but with that... Ladies and gentlemen, we just collected our fifth out of seven stars. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. But it does look pretty similar to the first star that we got. And the last one. They couldn't have gotten any more creative there. Obviously not. Thank you so much. Oh, such a good friend. Jonathan Jones, I will remember you forever as the most loyal shark thing that I've ever met. Oh, whoa, whoa, does it give you the right to jump on my head? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I'm so sorry. We're still friends, right? I hope I didn't crush you. <laughs> Must have really wanted that star. Now go on, get out of here before I... J oh, okay, so much for being the honorable pirate that I thought you were. But you, Johnny's a main man. He even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him anywhere. Where does he sleep? He's got some pretty sweet drinks here that I can't jump on. There's chairs. It's amazing. This is better than, like, the throne chair of all time. Interesting. Hop on the trampoline in the next room. It'll take you outside. Go on now, give it a try. It's like it's actually leading <laughs> me straight into their death trap. It's like, ah, uh, damn it, he beat he beat Johnny. Guess we gotta go kill him now. But no, he too is honorable. And it takes us to the outer world where we can now continue our endeavors out in the world map. However, let's return to Seaside Town and hope that everything is A-OK -okay because, well, whatever problem it had before, it must be done with now, right? Right? Mm. Uh oh. Hee hee hee! You found the star well done! But your journey ends here. You are so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Yaridovic, a member of Smithy's gang. Shocked? No, I'm not shocked actually. It's kind of a wonder that we didn't figure this out before. Uh. Your search for the stars is Wood Smithy. So if I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. Brownie points with your gangster asshole supreme ruler. Is that what you're getting at here? <laughs> this is the way to get ahead, to ask nicely, and then do some questionable, immoral things later. <laughs> so, ah. Uh, so it's presumed that this man is holding the townsfolk of this fine estate hostage. And we don't want to tell him to fuck off, otherwise he might do some devious things. So, okay, we'll do. I guess. I like how Mario almost tipped over. Hee hee hee! Now, I would recommend that you actually give it to him on your first time, because obviously your reward for not having the Elder get tortured is greater than, you know, that. I'm such a genius, it scares me sometimes! No wonder why I'm so important. God damn it, this guy is so full of himself. No wonder why his face is so gray. It's just. Ugh, this guy's an asshole. He thinks he was doing so good, but in all honesty, he was just being a dick. Alright, well, time to go into hot pursuit. Mallow, would you like to join us? And he's almost gonna level up. I think this will be the last fight. Oh, spoilers, we're gonna have a fight ahead where Mario's gonna hold the experience ring because after this point he's not really gonna need it. Also, this apparently is still locked. Alright, let's head over to this area. Hey! 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 <laughs> Blade's late. What's taking him so long? We need to get out of here. Ah, <sighs> Karitovic. <laughs> God, as a kid I always called him like Yardovich just because I was I didn't even see the eye. I was just like, Yardovich, Yardovich. Although we may rust a little, we'll have to swim for it. Okay, so they're gonna swim away with the star. Oh! Yes! 
Not so fast there! The star is a gift to be made to Mario! You spineless dogs have no code of honor, for I am the most honorable pirate in all of the land and seas. We'll make you walk the plank. Uh, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. <laughs> Got that right. God, that was amazing. I guess we'll have to take our disguises off now. Group formation. What's going on? Quit doing the kukuracha, please. Fusion, huh? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Yaridovic's true form, which is a giant spear. I mean, we had a bow and arrow at first, that was kind of weird, and then we had a giant dagger, or knife, I should say, Mac. And then we had this asshole, a spear. What is with Smithy and making all of these weapons? Huh. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to switch to Mallow was because, well, this guy's actually quite weak to electricity, so that would be in our best interest to go and uh, use now. Excellent. And 100 damage. Not terrible, but also not great. Of course, we'll go with classic Geno boost here with Mario. Now, he doesn't really have any other weaknesses aside from electricity, so keep that in mind. Uh, so we'll just go and attack regularly, since that's honestly our best bet for Mario. Uh, but of course, for whatever reason, this spear-based creature that will rust if he goes in the water will use moves like Water Blast, which is weird because... Water Blast is, like, not a move for a spirit to know, right? <laughs> right? Also, he'll always use that the very first turn, so keep that in mind. I will probably end up using, uh, something here. Maybe I should use the Muku Cookie. Have we used that yet? I don't think we have. Uh, I'm gonna use the Muku Cookie. <laughs> it's gonna be good business for us, because we have our good friend Mr. Muku Muku of hearing from the canyons and the rocks. He's confused. What is he? What's it, boy? Is there somebody stuck down there in the can? Oh my God! He explodes himself. He's dizzy. <laughs> Muku? He's crying, and he gives us 69 health. Be a clever game. <laughs> it's a little too sassy, though. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that. And he'll use flamestone. Yes, and he uses all Mario like a fool. Still did kind of a lot of damage, but. <laughs> All right, and Malik can continue using Shaka, aka the FP Guzzler, as I missed the timing there. And Gino can just go and attack normally for now. There we go. Because I think he'll do more damage than Mallow, so... It really, it only makes sense. And now we can just have Mallow heal, because when you're doing 230 damage, Jesus Christ. Don't attack, Mallow. Why is he attacking each L- Oh my god, that actually did a lot. Okay, Mallow. Heal yourself, please, before you reel yourself something or other. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Gino, let's see how much you do. Uh, shooting, shooting at this man. 96 damage, not too bad, I guess. For just a regular attack, it'll work. Now Mario's doing shitty now, what the hell? Ah, now for his fabled Mirage attack. He's going to use Bolt on Mario. Don't do a lot of damage, please. 17. All right. Now, the trick to finding out who is the true Mr. Man here is whatever your icon uh, selects first. This is going to be the original. Now, you can kill this guy if you really want to, but you could also tell with Thunderbolt just whichever one takes the most damage is the real one. But just keep in mind, whatever your selector... Your, oh my god, your cursor is selecting first is the one that you want to do. However, I'm going to go take this asshole out with Gino World because he does not deserve to live. Excellent. And the Mirage will take damage, but he will still do moves like, uh, like Yaridovic, however the hell you want to pronounce it. So it's just best to get him out of the way, I, in my opinion. Alright, and Water Blast, once again. You know, hmm, I'm running a little bit low on space, so I might just use a Kira Kira Cola. That is literally the one item that I have so much of that I literally can spare it. Look at this. I have five of them, and these are just from the overworld. I have not had to buy a single one yet. I should probably sell them. They're 200 each. It's not like I'm going to ever use them in battle. I mean, I don't know. We'll go ahead and use it, I guess, because why not? This fight's almost over. Oh, and the best thing about the Kirk Cola, not only does it restore all your HP, but also all your FP, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, obviously you'd have to, but it's amazing. Not that we're really going to use it for the rest of the fight, but still. <laughs> Excellent. And with that, no, nothing. It's going to use Water Blast again. Great. Was that Kirk Cola in vain? 
I think it was. You know what, I think we can actually take him out this turn, so let's do it. Mallow, go, go with a nice little shocker there. And we'll see. Excellent. Not messing up any timings there. And you can attack. As long as he doesn't do Water Blast again, we'll be fine. There we go. Excellent. So he's not a hard boss, really. Unless you're, like, doing a low-level run, but... How many people are still honestly doing that nowadays? Right? I don't know. Hey, Mallow reached level 13. Forgot about that. Didn't realize he was so <laughs> low on levels. We're gonna go with health. Because obviously he was doing very poorly in that regard. And the music! I love this music. Doing some finger guns in the air. Smithy is now in the race for the star pieces. Except, he's not. We have five of them. And he has presumably zero of them. So, by no means is he in the race. Or in the runnings, even. <laughs> What horrible surprises might he have in store for Mario? See this line of text match with this music and this image of Mario looking at us? It's hilarious. It's like, what horrible images will fall upon this amazing, adorable, beautiful face? <laughs> oh, and check it out! Got ourselves a shed key. Excellent. Oh, and there's a note here. Alright. To Mario. Known you must have been a breeze knocking down your read, eh? By the way, my pirates say they saw a huge axe flying across the sky. It's probably one of Smithy's nasty friends. Go get him, pal. Oh, great. So there's a, there's an axe in the equation now. In the X equation. Well, my gills are failing on me, so I'll be heading da back down. Drop in whenever you have time. Okay. So was he just sitting here, like, on the ground while we were engaging in this epic fight with Yuridovic and just writing on this piece of paper and, like... <gasps> Everyone's like, come back in! Come back into the water! <laughs> You'll drown! <laughs> anyway, we can open this door. Set free all the townsfolk. Phew, thanks so much. I've had enough of crammed and dirty old places like this. Hey, fella. You got us out of a bind. Peace, brother. Excellent. Oh, and, and then we have the one mole lady. <laughs> it was mighty unpleasant in here, and I ain't just saying that to be racially equivalent. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Be sure to stop by. Stop by where? You give me no directions. Whatever. Thank you for freeing us. We've got to get back to work now, but stop by the inn. See you there. Alright. Guess I don't really have a choice. Ah, Mario. Thank you for saving our little town of Seaside. You exposed the t fake townspeople and gave up your star to save us. So, by giving Yuridovic the star on the very first time, you actually will be able to accumulate a flower box. And by accumulate, I obviously mean obtain, because accumulate just doesn't make any sense. And for each time you say no, um, they'll run in there, and they will literally tickle them to death. That is their torture, is being tickled. Toads don't like that. It makes them feel very uneasy and violated. So, I guess in today's day and age, tickling somebody could be misconstrued as something far more inappropriate, but... That's a discussion for another day. Ladies and gentlemen, join me next time on Super Mario RPG, where we're going to actually take on a little bit of side business, considering the fact that we have 805 coins. That wasn't even trying. That's with losing that giant bonus against the squid. I wouldn't have been able to use any of the coins I got in between now and then without wasting my time, I guess. But, like I said, gotta wait until next time. My name's Allison Cruz, and I'll see you in the next part, where, by the way, this lady won't give us a free, you know, I hear there aren't many people passing through, so it gets awful, oh my god, what are you implicating here? Please trust up before you go, it'll only cost you 15 coins. Wait, you just wanted me to have sex with you, and now you're gonna charge me 15 coins for not only declining your offer and saving this town a seaside, but, whatever, I don't know, I'm leaving, goodbye.